It doesn't always occur to buyers that they should have a realtor representing them when they're purchasing new property or new construction property versus a pre-existing home or a used home that's called a resale. So we're going to talk about 15 reasons that you should have a realtor working for you when you buy new property from typically from a builder as new construction because you don't know what you don't know. So I'm going to help you get there today. I connect with people just like you every day to help them discover where to live and invest in real estate and sell property for top dollar when the time is just right for them. My name is Leif Jacobson. I'm an ex-cop turned realtor, also known as Safe Leif. If you're new to this channel, subscribe so you're first to learn about Colorado real estate. My contact information is below and I'm excited to hear from you. Shoot me a text, call, or email after this video. I'd love to connect with you or book a calendar appointment and I'll reach out to you, whatever works best. So we're gonna cover the 15 reasons that you should have a realtor advocating for you that provides you the greatest value, that's where I'm coming from, that doesn't cost you money as far as buying a brand new construction home. The first reason you should have a realtor advocating for you is negotiation and experience in negotiation. I'm an ex-police officer, professional negotiator, and turned realtor, and my entire job is in serving clients as a fiduciary for them as their best interest, and being an advocate for them professionally is negotiating on their behalf and when I negotiate I negotiate for a win-win I don't do win-lose deals I want the other party to get their needs met just as much as I want you to get your needs met when you're buying a property so we want to make sure you have maximum value as most seamless transaction as possible and most effortless as possible and smooth all the way through getting the best value for you and getting your needs met Wow making sure that the other party gets their needs met as well because that helps the transaction go all the more smoothly. So negotiators like me can help you get the best deal and the best value in a purchase transaction because really the, the home builder or the manufacturer of a home is advocating for themselves. I'm not saying they're malicious, they're just doing uh, probably a great job and running a good business, but they're not your advocate they are advocating for themselves. So it pays to have someone like me advocating for you and your best interests to make sure you get the highest value in a property because otherwise you don't have someone representing you. You have a builder representing themselves when you go to buy property. Upgrades and incentives are the other component for that. So builders were often include incentives and upgrades, but they don't always want to give you as much as you should get in a circumstance like that. So I can help advocate for you as far as getting upgrades and incentives and financial incentives that you may not have gotten had you had me working for you. The second component is market knowledge. So in part of my advocacy for you is understanding builders, understanding neighborhoods and understanding regions of town. And we can help you uh, find and analyze based on your needs and goals and priorities, the best place for you to be and the best place for you to buy, again, based on your needs and what's important to you. So there's some behind the scenes, kind of pulling back the curtains, some behind the scenes things. There are good builders to work with and not such great builders to work with. And it's not any kind of manipulation or malicious scheme as far as who we're getting you toward. It's all about track record and ability to provide seamless closings and provide a quality product that will maximize your the value to you and your investment in purchasing that property. I can also provide help as far as future area and developments, as far as giving you information for deciding where you want to purchase based on what is maybe around the corner. I.e. you might have an incredible, it looks like an incredible view property, but you don't know what you don't know. And around the corner from that, maybe a property that's going to be developed and take away what looks like a fabulous view. So I can watch and advocate for you in ways like that to make sure that what you're buying is going to be 10 years from now or maximize the chance that it'll be 10 years from now what you're actually buying today versus something that you don't see or can't know about ahead of time. The third component is builder reputation. I've worked with many builders and not all of them are created equal as far as doing business with integrity on the up and up. Like I tell you how I do business is full disclosure, up and up, highest integrity. 
Not all builders operate that way, unfortunately, and some are notorious for having nightmare issues after the fact. You know, they're not just typically, most builders are not building every component of the house themselves. I've actually never seen a builder that did every component of the house themselves. Many and most of them are using subcontractors, people that they employ and other workers to accomplish part of the build process. And they don't always necessarily have the best quality control or attentiveness when utilizing those subcontractors. And subcontractors in general are often known for cutting corners and they're running a business themselves and they're trying to get things done as fast as possible and make the most money as they can. There's nothing wrong with being profitable and they should be in business, but not all of them have the priorities straight as far as getting stuff done right the first time. And sometimes they'll take shortcuts on materials. Sometimes they'll take shortcuts on labor and not provide the best product to you. And some builders are known for working with and or employing folks who cut corners and don't make the best choices to make sure you're getting the best product long-term. So I can help you understand good value in contractors and others that have issues that you might want to stay clear from, even though that's your decision in the end, it's not my decision. I'm helping provide professional opinion, experience, and guidance for your best interest to make sure that you go with a builder that's gonna serve your needs and provide the product that you're looking to purchase in the end with the least amount of issues. The fourth thing we'll talk about is understanding contracts. Builders have their own contracts. It's different than just a purchase agreement. When you're working with me, we go purchase a property that exists. That's different than building uh, or buying a house that is built by a builder and they have their own contracts, which typically, again, protects their, provides their own risk and liability as far as them as a builder. So their contracts are going to advocate for them as the builder. They are not advocating for you necessarily or your best interests. They might protect that somewhat, but in general, they're looking out for their own best interests. So it can be helpful to have a realtor represent you and me represent you so I can help you understand their contracts and their liabilities and where they're protecting themselves versus where we may need some protection for you. And we can even alter or modify contracts to add language to make sure that you have the protection that's in your best interest as you move forward on this purchase. The fifth point is access to inventory. So I have relationships with many builders and have worked with them in the past and have inside line into some of their sales reps often and understand what their, what's available right now as far as the builder and properties that they are creating and building and much less pro uh, different than what may be available in future for other properties. So you may think that you want to buy a place, uh, but once we look and once I can ask the right questions to ascertain what may be around the corner as far as what they're developing or building, there may be a different property that is available soon and or even immediately or for pre-purchase that may fit your needs even better but just wasn't ready yet or is a few weeks uh, in the wings still as far as being developed or built out. So again, it's all about understand me understanding your needs so I can advocate for your needs and ask the right questions to get you the right property that may not be right on the books or something's presented for, for you right up front. Legal protection is the sixth consideration. There may be some nuances or other ways, again, legally for me to advocate for you to make sure that the builders are following uh, regulations and treating you in a way that has the highest integrity and for your best interest. So there may be nuances there and we wanna make sure that you have your needs met. Again, that'll be a common theme here and identifying potential pitfalls and ensure compliance with local regulations. The seventh reason is a home inspection. A lot of people when they're buying a new house think, well, it's brand new and it was inspected by the county or the building department, you know, whoever built it or the city building department or regional building department. But it is still to your advantage to have a professional inspector, a third party private inspector, the same type of inspector that we would use, general building inspector that we would use for a pre-sale home or a very pre-existing home to have them inspect a new construction property. They'll often come up with dozens of things that the builder, like I told, about, told you about earlier, they'll either cut corners or one of their subcontractors may have cut a corner and not handled something correctly or built something or outfitted something correctly that should have been done. So again, because you don't know what you don't know and you and I both are not professional building inspectors, I can advocate for you and make sure that the property is inspected to make sure 
or maximize the chance that you will have less issues to worry about or things that weren't handled correctly during the building process. The eighth component is coordination and communication. Depending on where you're coming out of the process, you might be buying a home, which is called a pre-sale, when you're buying a home before it even exists, and it's a long process, so maybe 12 or 18 months before the house is done, or years if it's a custom build, as far as you, to the point of you moving in. So I will be involved during that entire process and throughout the whole building process to make sure that things are handled as they should be and advocating for you in that process to make sure that you get your needs met there. I can also facilitate and help out with communication and or any conflict resolution that comes to play there. So it's not fun to have confrontations and I'm skilled at that. And again, negotiating, that's part of the negotiating process. If anything doesn't go incredibly well at any point, I can be an intermediary. So you're not having to go and confront yourself. You have me going in your stead to have a confrontation, a respectful and appropriate and productive win-win confrontation with the builder, again, in order to advocate for your needs and make sure things are taken care of for your best interests so you don't have to do that. Number nine is personal guidance. So when I get to know clients in this process, again, we're diving into your goals, priorities, and needs. And I can help remind you, even as this is an emotional process as well as a rational process, and I can help advocate for and remind you as we're going along what is important to you, what you told me was important up front. It's easy, believe it or not, to go through this process and there's hundreds of components. If you're building a house and making selections of dozens or hundreds of finishes and answers and things throughout the process, it's easy to forget even things that are very important to you. So I can help remind you of those because again, I'm not emotionally, it's not a house I'm gonna live in. I'm not in it as tight as that process and I can help remind and advocate for you to make sure that you get things that were important to you that you spelled up front. You wouldn't think that you'd forget those things, but it happens all the time and I can help keep those in mind and advocate for you in that way. Number 10 is cost savings. So one advantage with working with me as your realtor in a new build situation is that traditionally the seller of the property, which would be the builder in this case, pays my commission. So you get the benefit of my services without having to pay me directly as far as my commission. So I can save you money generally because you're not paying my commission. And also I can help you understand the value of different finishes and selections as you go along. Some things you do as far as an upgrade to a house throughout a building process that is not going to provide more value to you or make the property more valuable than you could sell it for. So some things you'll spend, you know, 10 or $20,000 that only make a property $2,000 more valuable. Other things, you might spend $25,000 on an upgrade that actually adds $70,000 value to the house. That's called a good return on that investment. So I can advocate for you in those ways and help you understand which areas provide good value and good equity in a property and which are not a good investment or provide an appropriate return. Number 11 is resale value considerations. Just like we talked about, it's all about putting in the, the resources and the upgrades that are going to provide greater value over time and build and add to your equity and not doing things that are not going to provide a return. So features and upgrades that will enhance resale value is something that I can provide as far as input to help you understand and maximize the value you'll have in that property because there are plenty of things that you might do for yourself that are really nice, like landscaping is one of those. Generally, on a macro scale, landscaping does not return dollar for dollar the amount that you put into it. So landscaping is wonderful for you to use in those you know, pathways and bushes and trees and you know, the lawn and the grass and the rocks and the landscaping, pergolas and stuff like that that you put in that you would, be, that you would enjoy using yourself may not provide, and there's nothing wrong with doing that to enjoy it yourself, but it's important that you understand that you wouldn't likely get your money back if you were to try to sell the house at some point or when you go to sell the house. So again, it doesn't mean you shouldn't do those things or can't do that. It's all about you understanding the data and the statistics so you can make the best decision for yourself on whether you spend that money or not. Number 12 is the peace of mind that comes with using me as a realtor and having someone who is an advocate for you as we've talked about several times. So generally the process goes smoother, the process has less stress, 
knowing that I am advocating for you and for your best interest throughout the process. You don't have to be as defensive working with a builder who you know is advocating for their best interests because I'm working for you and being paid by the builder themselves. So it costs you nothing to have me advocate for your best interests and make the process far less stressful and far more smooth for you. Number 13 is local connections and relationships. Like I said, I've worked with many builders around and have connections and relationships with them that then allow me to advocate again for your best interest and for your needs. So we may be able to negotiate value and terms that make things as seamless as possible or even more seamless and effortless in order to make the process as smooth as possible for you. Number 14 is navigating builder incentives. There are often incentives as far as purchasing property, you know, they'll throw in you know, appliances or landscaping in the front yard versus the back, you know, and things like that. And I can navigate and negotiate for you as far as those incentives to maximize the value and maximize the chance that you're getting the most value for your money in things included from the builder. The 15th and final principle and advantage to you as far as using me as a realtor to represent you when you're buying new property is general professional guidance and throughout the whole process. Again, that 40,000 foot view of advocating for you throughout this process to make it as smooth and effortless as possible to make sure that you get all of your needs met or the vast majority of them anyway, <laughs> the ones that we can control and advocating for you throughout the process. In a man who is relational and has the integrity to see you and hear you and listen well and advocate for your needs throughout this process. Thanks for allowing me to help you understand the 15 reasons that I can help advocate for you and provide incredible value to you without cost to you as a realtor in this transaction. And I would love the chance to do that. Please reach out by text, call, or email if I can uh, connect you with you in any way. I would love to do that. Feel free to book a calendar item and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see below or give any comments that you'd like to have or questions that you have. And I would love to answer those. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I look forward to the chance of working with you. Talk to you soon.